back action. Action. A A C. Take it back. Action. This is Mega Company from D Town Dallas, Texas. And I'm going to hand over to the deputy coordinator, Sister Mercy. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, this is Mercy Agamini, Dallas, Texas. I'm the uh, deputy coordinator for TIB AAC chapter here in Texas. We are inviting you out there to come and join us for the dinner party for Omoyele Shore on December 7th from 8 to 2 a.m. It's a fundraising party for the president to be, the Nigerian president to be. And we need you here to come and support him, come and support us. We need to change Nigeria. We need to move forward. Um, Mr. Alfred, you can take from here. Take it back. Action. Action. AAC, take, take it, it back. back. My name is Alfred Olusoya. Um, I am uh, one of the executive, uh, the fundraising team. Um, one thing that I want you to know, Nigerians in diaspora, we cannot continue to say action without actually taking action. When you say action, you have to put your money where your mouth is. And if you really want Nigeria to change, you can't do it by word of mouth alone. You cannot stay on the sideline. You can't sit on the fence. You got to take it back with action. You got to support what you are saying with action. So we are doing a fundraising on the 7th of December. Our candidate Omo Yele Shoure is coming to town on that very day. 8.30 prompt. No Nigerian time. No African time at all. So we are going to raise money to fund our campaign. We want to send a message to the cabal. We want to tell them it is time for them to pack their loads. A lot of them, they are money back. They've been dashing out money now, money that belongs to everybody. But they've been distributing all this money to the people. The money that will not last. The money that is not sufficient for them to pay for their students' school fees. The money that is not sufficient to take care of them when they are sick. The money that is not sufficient for them when they grow old and there's no social security. That's right. You see, we need to rethink this process. Healthcare, education, good roads, those are fundamental human rights. As a matter of fact, it's one of the fundamental objectives and directive principles of the state. So the state holds us. The state in this case is the Nigerian government. They hold us the duty to provide good roads so that we can network, so that Yorubas will not see evils as uh, 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 a stranger, so that People will not see houses as strangers. So we are yearning for unity. This is what our candidate stands for. It's going to provide electricity. Majority of these people that have been coming in place, they've been promising you heaven and earth. And they have not fulfilled their promises. A lot of people say, oh, well, Rome was not built in a day. Guess what? Even though Rome might take 200 to 300 years to build, but certainly it doesn't take 58 years to lay a stone. Every day when they were building Rome, a stone was laid every hour, every minute. But look at it, 58 years, Lagos is by the road, is still nothing to write home about. Our educational system is in shambles. You know, it's nothing to write home about. I am aggressive as anyone, and I'm as serious as anything you can think of right now. So. If you are going to have a change in Nigeria, there's no way you can have it with just talk, talk, mouth talk, and everything. So we are inviting you to come. We are inviting you to come. If you have questions, even though it's a dinner, Omar Yanesho Ure will certainly address any question that you may have. Like I said, you know, the manifesto is out there. If you visit Ure2019.org, it's going to detail everything that you need to know about our manifesto. In the United States that we are enjoying today, some people built it up. Right. And if you 
are studying, if you are in diaspora and if you are in the United States of America, if you are watching the Democratic uh, Party and the Republican Party, they have objectives. Yes. We all know what they stand for. If you say you are a Republican, we know what you stand for. If you say you are a Democrat, we know what you stand for. But if you say you are a PDP, what do you stand for? Corruption. If you say you are APC, it's empty promises. You see, let the youth get there. After all, when did our previous rulers, when did they start governing us? And they are still there till today. Majority of them start, started at 20, the age of 28. Some of them started at the age of 30 something. So we are talking about somebody that is youthful now. You know, 47 years old, on election day precisely, is going to be 48. President Barack Obama was 47 when he became the President of the United States. And right now is one of the best presidents we have. So please, I want you to come on this very day. The address is boldly written here. Our camera person is focusing it, but I can equally read it to you in case it's not clear to you. It's 8051 Lyndon B. Johnson Freeway, Dallas, Texas, 75251. Time 8.30 p.m. to 2 a.m. Best Western Plus Dallas Hotel and Conference Center. We want you to be there. Please, make it a day. Check your calendar now. Mark your calendar for this very day. It's this very coming Friday. We'll be expecting you. Thank yeah, you, Mr. Alfred. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. This is Mr. Robert Uyeri from Dallas, Texas. Talk is cheap. Haka, <laughs> <laughs> This Talk is cheap. A-A-C. Haka. I'm tired of people telling me what is wrong with Nigeria. We need people with solutions. And we have the man that can give us a solution. That's I don't right. have much to say. If you love your country, because this is not your country. Somebody built this country to be what it is. That's right. For you to be here. We can do the same thing. Either you are a doctor, either you are a liar, either you are a dishwasher, we have only one Nigeria. If you believe in Nigeria, Change is here. On my election, go and check. Spicer Eats. Spicer Eats is our agenda for the country. This is a man that don't just talk. He talks and he back it up. Right. Thank you. Join us. We are doing this for you, not for us. That's right. If you see those of us who are here, Probably comfortable where we are. They either we like it or not. This is not our country. We have a country we need to go back to. Right. I'm doing this for my children, for my grandchildren. In about the third generation, I don't want to. I don't want them to do any DNA to where they came from. It's better to make the place a place to be proud of, so they can visit. Ladies and gentlemen, every diaspora in the, anywhere in the whole entire world, join us. Without money, you can't take the power from the corrupt. God bless you all. Thank you. Mega, I know you are burning to talk. But no, I, want our, yeah, I want our ahead. camera person to just show them yeah. the building around here. This is the Nigeria we are dreaming of. You know, this is the Nigeria we are dreaming of. It doesn't take 58 years to build good roads. It doesn't take 58 years to provide quality education, to build hospitals. Okay, you can see that. You can see that. So a lot of you that are still talking about articulation or articulating, you know, this is a man that is wanted in the United States. And that's the person that you want to be your president. Please, for God's sake, do not mortgage your future. Do not mortgage the future of your children's children. Please, for God's sake, do not vote article. And APC is not an alternative either. AAC. Look at good roads. Look at good roads. When you follow Omo Yele Shoure on Facebook, he's doing that on, on purpose when he visits the United States or any other developed world. You see good road networks. You know, this is Dallas. This is not even where I reside. 
I reside in a city called Midlothian. In we Can have we a help you, Mr. Anderson? Yes, yes, sir. If you look at the time, this is 7 p.m. in the United States. There is no skyline. You can go to downtown Abuja right now. There will be no light. You can go to the skyline in Lagos, in Marina, in Lekki, in um, Ekoyi. Those are the those places used to be the pride of Nigeria. As I'm talking right now, they probably be in the dark. But here is 24/7. We can do it. It doesn't take a rocket scientist. No. It yes. takes a Mayele Shoure. The man who has been there, he knows what he's doing. For 30 years, he can get it done. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to sign a contract without corruptly enriching your pocket. To sign a contract to construct good roads. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to build Aspirus. You see our president, Muhammad Buhari, he doesn't believe in our healthcare system. He has to go abroad to get Treated. treated and majority i was watching one of the videos uh, on on facebook even the uh, the chairman of the nigerian university commission the child graduated outside of nigeria nobody believed in the system you know nobody believed in the system so all these people that are that are ruling nigeria they are they don't believe in the system you know they do not believe in the system at all their kids are enjoying life outside. You know, this is a country that was built by other people. You know, these are people that have failed us completely. They have nothing to deliver. Nothing, absolutely nothing to deliver. No, you know, have, they have, have encroached on our fundamental human rights. Please go ahead. Please. Yes, we have youths, youths that are being wasted, talented youths that they need to develop their talent. Mm -hmm. The government is doing nothing at all for our youth. The future belongs to them. The future of Nigeria belongs to Nigerian children. The youths are being used to destroy properties, to uh, vandalize uh, government properties, individual, uh, individual properties. Those youths need to rethink what do they want their future to be. Come back, come and join us, join AAC. That is your future, so that your future will be bright. Now, I keep watching videos, I see boys. Where are the girls? Where are the girls in Nigeria? Where are the women in Nigeria? You need to speak up for your children. You need to come out to, to, to do what you need to do. You need to speak to your children, to go to a vote, for the right uh, party, which is AAC. AAC. You need to join Omoye Shore because your future is at stake. Come 2019. Don't wait. Do the right thing. And the time is now. Join us. The last word. No, I'm not going to. Buy your tickets. $100. Contribute to a lot of people. Thank you. Okay, it's my turn. Mega Congre time, you know, it's mega time. <laughs> uh, like my brother said, this is uh, Brother Robert. He said, talk is what? It's cheap. It's cheap. Talk is what? It's cheap. Uh -huh. Mega Congre said, they talk the talk. They don't walk the walk. It's all talky talky. It's a more less word. I don't think he need talky talky follower sure. or talky talky supporter. He need action. Action supporter. Take it back. Action. 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 Take, Take it, it back. back. So, this is mega comedy. I'm a man of action. I believe in action. I don't believe in talky talky executive, talky talky uh, follower, talky talky subscriber. I believe in action. That is why we are gathering here today to do this short video. To let the whole world know that we're going to be having an event, it's going to go down in Dallas, Texas. Yes. Friday, December 7, 2018. Right in a, between a court and 75 Central Express Highway, right by the side of Highway 5. You know? So that is the center of North Dallas. It's going to go down. We have a miracle, some miracle. The superstar is going to be performing live music, and uh, we're going to be having some dignitaries coming in. 
But what we need, we want you to come and buy your ticket. You come at the gate, don't think you can come, we are going to refuse you. No, we have a lot of tickets, right? Yes. We need to sell. We need uh, quality people. So we are begging every brother and sister who's going to watch this video tomorrow morning or before the event day, contact your family in big town, Texas, or in Houston, San Antonio. You don't have to be present. You can just give us a call. My number is 469 618 2990. Give us a call. They're going to.